If you missed our last video, we are spending five days in Antigua, Guatemala with the goal of summoning their highest volcano. We decided to acclimatize the region by taking all the sites and eating a lot of their delicious foods as today is the final day of acclimatization before we head to the summit area of Acatenango. We decided to check off a bucket list item Venus has had for a very long time. Visit one of the most world famous coffee plantations on the globe, the Finca La Azotia Coffee Plantation. Hola. Hola. Oh, how excited are you? I'm pretty excited. Yeah. Coffee plantation. <laughs> All right, hey guys, what's going on to today? We are in Guatemala, uh, Antigua, and we're visiting a coffee plantation because Venus has never been to a coffee plantation before. And uh, here we are. Coffee Museum. Coffee Museum. Oh, oh look at cat. Hola. ¿Qué oh. estás? So soft. So fluffy. Oh. Very small, strong smell of chocolate. I guess this cat is showing us the way. Oh, showed us her food. Pitch, <laughs> <laughs> pitch, so fluffy. Hi. So I don't know if I said this today, but so this is Venus's vacation. She has a job. She goes to work. This is like her vacation time. So it's my objective to make sure that she has as much fun as possible on her vacation. So you know how coffee is your favorite thing in the world outside of me? So you know that Scrooge McDuck? Do you feel like you could just like swim into this like coffee bean ocean here? Hey, look at these birds of paradise. They're flowering. Oh, wow. It will never happen in our... Look how tall this bird of paradise is. It's like 10 foot tall. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's such a big boy. This is now a plants channel. We only talk about plants when we're traveling. Look at the leaves. I know, I see it. What? Are you having fun? Mine's so sad at home. <laughs> Alright, we have Miguel here. He's gonna give us a private tour of the plantation. <laughs> gonna be okay? Yeah, are you gonna be okay? Yeah. Alright, so this section is now a bike tour. Uh, I did not know this was gonna be a bike tour, but so, yeah, good luck everybody. coffee um, <clears throat> we call red cherries looks like cherries look at this we need to clean and try to open a little bit and you can see two seeds oops <laughs> oh you can taste oh just taste. eat it just like chew it and spur it out yeah don't don't swallow it Oh. I dropped it. <laughs> what I went to see in the other. Coffee beans taste better than actual coffee. In November, December, you can see the red beans because we are starting the summertime. Mm -hmm. Ah. And uh, November, December, the beans turn ripe. Uh, January, February is the high season, and February they finish. No more uh, coffee beans. Oh. So we harvest once a year. Eat like this. This is not ready. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see the color. Or like the green is not ready. So they need to pick only the ripe coffee beans. So these are all good to pick? Yes. And turn into coffee? Yeah. Ah, look at this. When you pick the beans, you need to take care to leave the stick. Oh. If you take the stick, you don't have coffee for this year. So next year you can have coffee. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. You can damage the plant. So these guys all here on the right here are all coffee. 
And they're all, all coffee needs to be grown in the shade. Yeah, so they all need to be in shade. So that's why they have all this bigger tree growing on top of them for shade. And this is avocado tree. Careful, okay? Yeah. Look at that. Oh. Is that avocado tree too? Yeah, that's avocado tree. Oh, damn. So they grew on top here and then yeah, when you they, harvest, you they, have to go up. Well, we exactly, we don't harvest the avocados. They produce avocado, but they have bugs. Oh. And that is not so good. With your hand and... Oh. This is more juicy. Mm. More juicy. How is the flavor? It's good. It tastes For like... me, it's like red pepper. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Red pepper taste. We sprayed uh, copper, liquid copper, and we spray and reduces the fungus. Oh. And, the, and the red plastic, Yeah. that one is for bugs. People, people put it something there yeah. and they catch the bugs. This is powder so coffee slash compost. So when you have the, the powdered stuff, this is all the rejects that you use from all the, uh, you know, those bags of coffee beans. I do believe she's having lots of fun. I'm not very good at biking. <laughs> oh, this is sand. What's up? Not much, just checking you out from you. These are coffee beans. These are the good ones. Turn into my coffee. Take that coffee. <laughs> How's your day so far, Venus Jen? Look at the volcano. Agua, look at this. Coffee. Woo! <laughs> Biking one handed with a big camera is harder than motorcycling with a GoPro. That is 100% uh, confirmed. Yeah. Alright, here we go. So once the workers handpick the berries from the coffee trees, they go through this industrial water separation process to extract the coffee beans. So that's where it'll get sorted between the rejects, which end up in compost or your instant coffee, and the good beans, which you will find in the whole bean bags at your local grocery store. They then sit outside in the sun to dry for 20 days. When the beans are almost dry, it's not like too heavy, and you can remove a little bit easy the parchment skin. Oh and to buy the green bean and then you put it into the oven to roast and make coffee. And just for your information, a person that drinks one coffee every day drinks on average one tree of berries a month. How many of these fields do you have? I don't know, you a lot. A lot? <laughs> La Sotea, it says medium roast or dark and it says ground or whole bean and Antigua and the uh, altitude here is 5,000 feet. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. So how, how does the altitude affect the... When it's higher, it's better. More flavor, more concentration. Oh. Yes. It was fun. I think Venus enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> I didn't drop the camera. Very happy. <laughs> Coffee time? Coffee time. Coffee yeah. Time. So do you know in quality, you know? Yeah. Which country is number one? Ethiopia. Number two, Kenya. And then look the line, Guatemala, Costa Rica, Colombia, and then Mexico, El Salvador, Ecuador, and Peru. Uh, Venus, third best coffee in the world. Yes. We're here. And dark? Uh, and I have medium dollar. Probably do your thing. Not very good, your job. Well, you know, I'm just enjoying the moment. You know. Oh, that's what I do. Enjoy your coffee. Oh, it smells different. It smells different. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, it's like a deeper it smell. Different. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This and also, this is medium. So Venus tried to convert me to start drinking coffee. She's like, let's go to a coffee plantation. <laughs> And uh, here we are. This is my first. It's pretty good, actually. Yeah, it's good. It's not bitter. No, it's not. Because every he's, he always he doesn't drink coffee because he thinks it's very bitter. But this one is not bitter. <laughs> yeah, and all the coffees that we have in Canada are not that great. Hello. <laughs> Yay! It's 
nice. Mm. And it doesn't have the bitter aftertaste. No, no, no. It's, it's really good, good aftertaste. Yeah. It is. Do you feel like your your hands is shaking, like doing like this? No. Oh. Is that is that supposed to happen? Okay, I stopped you drinking from the red. Did you need a whole bag of coffee to break up? Oh, I, we don't have space. The beauty of my packing system is that I actually have space for one of these. So if you want it, we can take it. I feel like you're being very happy right now. Like I see you have a bag. Can you show me what's in the bag, Venus? Got that medium. Blend nice. that we just tried. It was really good. It's not bitter. And then this is a blend of medium and medium dark. And then I bought one little one for Perfect. Yolanda so she can try all the different blends. And a bag. Nice. All right, you look like you had a very good time. Uh, so, do you want the mango, Jen? No, I'm good. Look how excited she is. It's our this disc. I can make hot chocolate. Oh yeah, grab it. Yeah. She got a hold for this like for six. Bye. Thanks for greeting us this morning. If you guys come to this uh, plantation, make sure you say hi to Chuck with the cat. Take a picture. Send it to us. I helped the economy a little bit here. Good job. Uh, we're done with the plantation. Our dear friend from Wilkin Charlie's, Rodego, told us that we can get tamales there. Now tamales are only supposed to be made on Thursdays and Saturdays, but today is Wednesday. So he is hooking us up with a guy he knows that can make us some tamales. Now this is like some, what do you call those bars that are hidden? Speakeasies. There's like some speakeasy stuff. He said that you have to find this place. There's like a red light and it like flashes. And if it, when it flashes, it means that they're making tamales. I'm just like, I'm just retelling you what he told us. All right, there's Rodrigo. He's a legend, right. man. <laughs> he, like, he has a day off and he's like, yo, I'll show you where the tamales are. You won't find tamales in any restaurant. So plug it in right here. And when you see the red light, you know there's tamales. Uh, this is the red one. On Thursday, there's uh, something similar to a tamale called tache. Uh -huh. It's made on... Uh, Seis. Seis. Okay, me podría... Tengo, tengo picante y tengo sin picante. Do you like it spicy or without spicy? I wear without spicy. Without spicy. Very spicy. Okay, me puede dar uno picante y uno sin picar, por favor? Take a no anyway, so like you can just keep saying no. No, man. No. <laughs> this guy's not paying for our tamales. You're a legend. It's part of the part of the life here in Antigua, just yeah. finding tamales. And usually no one does because no one is here on Saturday. And if they go are here on Saturday, they are here to party. So they miss this part of like the Guatemala culture as well. Uh, it's it's so nice. good. Yeah. I don't even know if it's savory or sweet. It's savory. Uh, savory. Yeah, it's out right. Buddy, no, but thank I will you so be. Much. No worries. I will be there okay. when you come back on Friday. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I will see your faces I'm like. Nervous now. Please go. <laughs> You're gonna be okay. No worries. Like, this man's a legend. We got some tamales, we got the coffee plantation. Life is good. Wow. So big. Go, go. You got a tuck Hello. Hello. Is this your first time in a tuk tuk? No, I was. I, I ride run in Thailand and also in Peru. Oh, okay, you're good. Though. Yeah. Okay. effort to find this guys. I don't even know what it is. For the South of Guatemala, tamales are made of plantain leaves Ooh. as opposed to corn husk. While chicken and pork remain the staple meat, bell pepper, olives, capers, and raisins are added to their tamales. I guess our version today is bell pepper and pork. Okay, welcome to Tamales Life. And we were just so lucky to have met someone that knew where to get this. Like, it's super local. This is apparently supposed to be super duper, super, super spicy. Oh, it's like a very mashed potato kind of thing. Yeah. Right? But there's tomato sauce in it. I don't taste any spice, but that just might be me, honestly. Oh, there you go. I see a uh, jalapeno. 
There's some spice. <laughs> oh yeah, look how good that is. This is like... It's good, right? This is like really comfort food. It's delicious too. I would, I can eat like three, this is like six quesos, which is like a dollar. And he also paid for it. And he also paid for it. Which we will pay him back when we see him on Friday. But, yeah, this is delicious. If you're in Mexico, I'll put it in the link below. I'll put the Google map address. So that way you'll be able to find it. Because I think if you're here and you're in Antigua and you go to a coffee plantation, it's a walk away from the coffee plantation. Super awesome. You might need to know. You might need to know Spanish. Steaming. There is a jalapeno in there. I'm happy that we got to try this while we're here. What do you think? It's great. Yeah. All right. So all that fun stuff done. Now we're just moving all of our bags to a hostel because it's going to be closer to the pickup site for tomorrow morning when we start climbing the volcano. Uh, like it's a one minute walk away. So. <sighs> Here we go. All right, so this is a chorizo empanada. Oh man, I love empanadas so much. Oh wow, that's delicious. Spicy. There's a, there's a definite hint of spice there. Yeah. Take a look at that. Oh, life is good in Guatemala. Yeah, Except, you know, the poverty and crime and the no windows in the houses. But food wise, delicious. <laughs> The next video is going to be about the hike up the volcano. Very excited to have you join us next week. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you guys later. Fighting the big boss of Antigua, Guatemala. We gotta get. We gotta figure out how we're gonna pack all this stuff up the mountain. I don't know if I'm excited or I don't know what I'm feeling right now. Pure excitement. <laughs> see you later. Bye. There's mosquitoes, there's mosquitoes now. Bass, if you're watching, be proud of me. <laughs>